Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a very scary get ready with me. I'm completely barefaced, which for me, as you guys know, is like a really big deal because I hate my skin, but here we are, and you guys know I like to try and keep it as real as possible, so be nice to me. And this is going to be quite long, chatty, so get your teas ready, your coffees ready, whatever you drink ready, and we're going to have a nice chat. I'm going to talk about anything that kind of comes to mind and I'm going to do my makeup and the makeup that I'm going to be doing is essentially the makeup that I normally do for filming because so many of you guys ask me what have you been wearing recently, what have you been doing recently and I think it's really similar to what I normally do anyway but you guys seem to want it so here we go, it's not really a tutorial, it's just a get ready with me, I I'm, might be filming later on as well so this just means that I, I kind of can do two in one and I have this whole week off so it means I have a whole day of filming which is fantastic. I picked the worst day to do this though because it's super super warm and this room gets like a, a sauna because I have two windows in here and it gets really warm so if I get a sweaty upper lip situation it's because I actually genuinely have a sweaty upper lip situation I'm gonna start off I don't even have that many new things because I'm really fussy with my makeup I'm gonna play around with things and hopefully this is a little bit interesting for some of you first thing I want to talk about is a little bit of a skin update I I'm off something called Raccutane. If you want to know more about it, it's this medicine essentially that helps with acne, hence the acne scars that you can probably see on my face. And my skin is clear. I don't have any spots at the moment, but I do have some scarring, but it's okay. I'm really, really, really thinking about doing something called Dermapen, which I don't know if any of you guys are like dermatologists or doctors or have ever done anything like this for your scarring, let me know. And I've been told I can do it in six months once my skin has kind of gone back to normal. But for the time being, I've just kind of got to grin and bear it. Because I fake tan, you're not probably not going to be able to see it as much because I do have a lot of lights in here. But in order to match my skin and my face, I have gone back into using the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster made to measure tan little thingy majiggy. And this is amazing. If you have, I was telling my friend the other day who came, I told you this is going to be chatty. My friend um, came over the other day and she's got perfect skin, like her skin is beautiful, she's got freckles, like I don't know, her skin's gorgeous. And I said to her, for someone like her who doesn't really wear foundation every day, something like this to mix in with your moisturiser is fabulous. The foundation that I've been loving recently is the Smashbox um, Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. It's in the colour 2.2, so it's quite tanned. For starter, I'm going to start using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecta in the, the Chew. And I'm going to use some of this on my cheekbones underneath my foundation just for a bit of extra glow because my skin has been really really dry even though I'm done with the Raccutane and my lips are kind of like thank god they're like okay and um, my overall skin has been really dry and you guys are going to be seeing my scarring it's a lot worse on this side that I'm sort of playing with now as you can see that you can tell I had a lot of hormonal breakage around here as well break outage I got my eyebrows done though and I was really impressed. The Blink Brow Bar contacted me a little while ago, I wasn't like paid or anything and they just said oh would you like to go and get your eyebrows done um, and we'd like to send you some brow products and I went and I was meant to get an eyelash treatment as well but she said I had to do a patch test and then I just haven't got round to <laughs> going again since my patch test and it was so nice. Yes it is a bit more expensive but I think it's worth it and the girl really knew what she was doing. So I'm just going to take some of the Smashbox and put some on my hand. I only do like a pump. Then I take my Marc Jacobs The Face brush. This is my The Face 3 brush actually. And it's just a really dense like kabuki style brush. And what I normally like to do is first put a layer of my foundation thinly all over. Because I kind of don't want to wear too much foundation. I'm going to also clip my hair. Because these clips, these bits annoy me when I'm doing my foundation, so excuse that. We'll just look like a bit of a twit for a minute. I might need a bit more. I, don't, I just really don't like to do too much. And this found, um, that foundation brush does pick up a bit of the product, unfortunately. So I might even do it with my hand. As I said, I have a week off. I'm not going on holiday or anything. Like, I just bought a house. My priorities are a coffee table at the moment and stupid stuff like that. But hopefully next year. I've really enjoyed this week. I've really tried to like see everyone because I don't get to see people very often. Um, 
but I did want to talk to you guys that I think I'm gonna go through a little bit of a not career change because I'm gonna be doing the same thing but I am I have a lot of family stuff going on at the moment and I sort of need to be at home more uh, not this home like my home home which is great because I have just moved out so it's like I should have been at home more when there was actually yeah you guys know what I mean family comes first and we only have one family and you guys know the gist with that kind of stuff because this is like a really light layer it hasn't really covered any like very much I then take a little bit more of a concentrated amount the back of my hand and I just dab it on the areas where I need it this foundation doesn't really help with the texture that I have because I do have um, this time round I feel like I have quite a lot more like would you call it pitting that's what I sort of call it um, where the skin you can kind of see where the spots have left a scar it's not just like a, a, a visible scar and then you guys have seen me do a mil this a million times but I just press in I don't swipe if you swipe you remove the coverage you can see that my forehead looks like I almost have no foundation on whereas over here is where I have most of my coverage if you guys ever have done dermapen let me know if you think <coughs> it's a good thing that I should do and also whether or not um, you think anything else would be beneficial or if the person you did dermapen with where you went and that kind of thing because I'm very very, very interested if you guys are wondering where my little necklace is from this is from Topshop I got it a little while ago I'll try and link it down below it's from their finer jewelry range um, my earrings are from Topshop and the back ones are from ASOS I'll link them down below and I yesterday went with my friend to central London and we uh, both got our some of our piercings changed. I originally wanted this to go up here, but it looked really weird So I just got it. I like I spent like money on it. So I was like, I'm not just gonna um, get rid of it. So I ended up I ended up just putting it on my tragus or tragus or however you want to say it and it's cute I don't know. I, I need to get these changed But I just I was like, let's just do one at a time Let's assess if I even like it and then go from there But I think I will end up getting those changed to a gold now I'm mixing my concealers and I'm mixing um, Collection 2000, I still use these. In hand I normally mix one fair and number three because I find number two to be really, really, really pink on me and it just looks really weird. I take it down my nose, here and here. It's going to look like a lot of concealer but I promise it looks okay if once you've done it. And then just take a tiny bit of the three. I have actually bought some new makeup um, I had to get and I don't know if anyone else felt like this but I had to get something from the De Desi and Katie Katie I don't know how you say it Katie Katie um, collection because I have to say I don't watch too many makeup like tutorials anymore it's really like weird I, I don't know I'm just not it's like I what if I watch them I watch them because I like the people I don't watch them because I actually like would sit and do the makeup whereas before when I was younger I actually I don't know if anyone else feels like this when I was younger I used to watch makeup tutorials to do the makeup like I would search like brown smoky eye and I would actually sit there and copy um, you know like recreate the look because I was going out or because I wanted to whereas now I just sort of watch them because I'm like oh my god I really want to see what like Desi's doing or like I love watching Nina like I see what Nina oh my god anything Nina does I'm like obsessed with but like Desi's makeup I love who else's makeup do I really like yeah I don't know I don't really watch that many people but I had to have some of the stuff from there so if you guys want to see a little haul on what I got I'll let you guys know next I'm going to powder and I'm using the Ben Nye banana powder and this is gonna go everywhere and I use a Sigma F04 brush and it's really nice and dense and it just picks up loads of the product. I'll try and link as many of these things down below. If you like this one is because it's quite yellow and I find it very brightening. The light keeps changing you guys because it's like a really sunny day but the light keeps going in and out because it is afternoon now. I actually have a doctor's appointment so I think, actually I have a nurse checkup. Um, so the nurse might be like, where is this chick going? I always powder over my eyes because I just always find my eyeshadow goes on better. I also put powder on my nose 
um, which I don't know if anyone's going to think this is really weird, but since I was on Rakutane, if I don't do this step, my makeup around my nose breaks up. So um, I always, always, always now powder around my nose. Maybe when I get my skin going a bit more back to normal, it will sort of stop. I'm just using my bronzer now. This is a goodie but an oldie. This is what brought me and Selena together. It's the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder in the colour Medium Deep. And I'm using it on my Marc Jacobs bronze brush. Basically, with new builds, you have like guarantees on them. And normally you have something called like a snagging period where if you think that, you know, things haven't been done, I have like a certain way that my, my mirror has to be facing for me to do my bronzer. Um, essentially, you kind of can make like a list and tell them, hey, this hasn't been done properly, you need to come and fix it, please. Um, and it was like everything and anything from skirting, like having scuffs on it, like chunks missing from it, um, cracks in the ceiling, like from the plaster coming off. I don't know, I'm not technical, but um, just like things, that, things that were like inevitable because like, especially with new builds, like with moisture apparently and like, um, for example with the movement and you know the building just like just generally settling it happens but a lot of this stuff is just shoddy and um this builder came and he's really nice he came and like did it for like three days so for three days out of my little week holiday i've been getting up early in the mornings which for me is like a killer um because i've actually become a person that can sleep in which for me is for me, sleeping in means like nine o'clock, by the way, because I used to be like crazy. I used to wake up at like half seven naturally, which I still do sometimes, but recently I have been tired. So I get up at like a decent hour. I'm just gonna take Harmony by MAC, which is my contour color. Sorry, it's got foundation all over it. And I'm using a MAC 180, 108 brush. This one, um, the one that used to famously shed everywhere. Guess what I ordered? You guys are going to be like, Barb, you're so sad. You guys, if you've been watching me, you'll know, like I've said a few times, that shutters were my dream. And I've actually ordered my shutters. Um, and the guy was really nice and he came around and we measured them and stuff. And he's a, he's a uh, family friend, like, of my cousins. He's, he's a friend of my cousins, so he's a family. You guys know what I mean. And, um, yeah, I've ordered them. The sad thing is I couldn't get it for every room. Um, because my bedroom, the way my bedroom, one of the windows is, it wouldn't have allowed, I'm just going to blend this out with like a big brush. This is from Wilco and it's like the best brush ever for blending. And, um, so I can only get it done in my living room and in this room, but oh my God, it's my dream come true. I'm going to get shutters. So this room, hopefully I'll be able to like regulate the lighting in here a bit better. Next, I'm going to do my nose contour and I'm going to use the same Harmony blush to contour with from MAC and I've not really been liking my contour recently like I really need to invest in Nina, Nina uses this all the time but her nose is just beyond and she uses the NARS Eater brush and I just need to just get it and just stop being an idiot but I'm just using this um, Sephora brush that I got I think in America and it's the airbrush concealer 57 brush I don't know if that's going to help anyone to have my mirror and it's really dirty I apologize but it's the way the lighting is in the room I can see it better here and I take it up to my brows as well and the main place I do it is just here so I haven't really told you guys but I I've been really thinking about sort of what I want to do with my life and like I know it sounds ridiculous like Barb's like you're crazy you've just qualified you've just You've, you've got what you're doing, like, what do you mean you're thinking about what you want to do with your life? So, I've always been fascinated, and obviously with what I do as well, with, um, I'm getting a sweaty, sweaty upper lip, oh, always. But I think it's endearing when someone has a sweaty upper lip, it's cute. Well, that's what I try and tell myself, but it's really not, it's disgusting. But anyway, I've been sort of thinking, and I think I am going to, enroll when I have saved up some money into a Botox and um, lip augmentation and 
Um, I'm just taking the brush that I used to powder my nose to blend that out. Um, coarse. So, as a um, medical professional, you can, depending on what medical professional you are, you can do, like, you can become level 7 certified and you can go into doing um, injectables. And I think I want to do it. So, if any of you guys are pharmacists or if generally, like, nurses or doctors or whatever have done it and you know of, like, a good school that does it, um, then let me know. I have a few that I've been, like, looking at to do it with when I sort of have saved up enough money to do it because I just would love to do it. We've talked about it, I want to do it for myself as well in the sense like I really want to get some procedures done. But I just would find it so interesting and it's just so up my alley. Um, like I just, yeah, I just really want to do it. I'm just sort of making my nose try and look a little bit more button-like, but it's not really working. Because I know lots of people think like, I all I do is work like behind a counter, but pharmacy, there's so much more to it if you sort of want like, you don't have to just go and be a manager or like I just honestly the idea of being a manager for anything makes me want to be sick and like vomit honestly I could never be a manager so let me know what you guys think I've never told you guys about that but that's always kind of been like a little pipe dream of mine like I just really want to do it um so that's sort of the next step that I want to sort of like I would love to learn um and I would also love which I think I'm going to mix the two to become an independent prescriber, which just basically means that I would specialise in a certain area and I would be able to... Actually, you, you kind of can prescribe like outside of your chosen area as well, but mainly you would prescribe in your chosen area. I'm just going to take something new that I bought and um, I've met so many of you guys, by the way. I'm going off on a tangent, another tangent, but anyway, that's like a side. Anyway, I want to become an independent prescriber and I would love to do that. So many of you guys recently and I just wanted to say hi. Like, I've met so many of you guys all around, but I went to MAC and a lovely girl served me and she said that I should get Gingerly by MAC. I'm just taking it on a Real Techniques brush and because I'm tanned, um, you probably can't tell, but I am. Um, I just thought this would look really pretty because she had a gorgeous complexion. Um, I always look so silly when I put my blush on. But anyway, yeah, if you guys ever meet me, can you please come and say hello? Because otherwise I'll get very, very offended. So, um, yeah, thank you to all the lovely people recently who come and say hi. I do get it mainly in central London, but I get it at work. I get it in a lot of places, but mainly, mainly when I go to good old central. But yeah, do you guys ever find that you, as soon as you start doing something, like you sort of... I can't sit still, like I constantly feel like I have to do something else. Now I'm going to take the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know which one this is, um, I don't know, but I love this colour in it and it's this gorgeous like yellowy, goldy colour. I've got an alarm on my phone for the doctor so I need to turn it to a bit later because I actually don't need to leave that early. So if I put it for, yeah. Sorry guys. Otherwise I have to, I'm, I'm really weird. Like I put alarms for everything. So otherwise I forget, like I have too much going on in my brain. So I'm just gonna take that. If anyone else does that, let me know. So like on my phone, whenever you look at alarms, you can see like Thursday doctor or like, I know there's probably a reminders like on events you can put on your phone, but I just put alarms. Um, so I'm just taking it on my Anastasia one, a23 brush and I'm just placing it where the sun would hit um, but yeah I'm just going for a checkup there was something else that I was like I have to get done on my day like on my week off is I actually have to go to the doctors um, I'm hopefully going out this weekend um, not hopefully I think I am so me and Selena are going out haven't been out in so long I feel like no that's a lie I have been out I went out in Essex actually, funnily enough, because a friend of mine uh, from uni lives there. And that was really, really fun. I went to Sugar Hut. But I think me and Selena are gonna go to, I have to be honest, um, I do think I go to quite pretentious clubs. So I think we want to go to something a bit more low key um, because they can be a bit annoying. Um, as much as I like to go to a club and get taken care of, I think, it just gets a bit annoying, like, the type of person. Oh, my cupid's bow. 
So if you guys have any recommendations of good places in central London that are like really fun, really good music, like hip hop, R&B, um, not pretentious, obviously hot guys, like I'm single. Honest to God guys, I'm actually not joking. I don't know what has happened to the dating game. I don't know what's going on with guys. I just don't know. I don't know where all the hot guys are at. I don't know where all the normal guys are at. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, it's just really, really like, oh my God, what is going on? And just the mind games and the, it's just too much. Um, and unfortunately I have this really bad motto in my life. I'd rather be alone than in bad company. I don't know if anyone else shares in that motto. So um, that's kind of the vibes at the moment. But I've been single for ages now. I feel like I'm so like makeup tutorially today. I'm using Morphe, like go me. This, this is so up my street. I, if I ever am in like, oh, I don't really know what to wear or I just can't be bothered. This is what I whack out. And it's just loads of neutral colors. Cult Beauty does it, so I will link it down below. And I like to use these kind of dirty looking colors, like that one, that one, that one, um, that one, that one. And I just kind of just play around with them, mix them and just put them in my crease. I like to keep my lid very, very plain. And then I just play around with stuff in my crease. I'm gonna take a good old 217 by MAC. And these don't have names, so I apologize, but I'm gonna take one of these, that sort of transition-y, would help if I showed you guys that color. I'm not gonna move like zoom in super close guys. This is just a get ready with me. Like you've seen me do this a million times before. That's why I was kind of like, oh my God, why do that, these guys want to see this again? I feel like I've done these tutorials and I'm really not like adventurous with my makeup. Although when I went to MAC the other day, um, the lovely girl who was serving me showed me this blush by MAC um, that she said is really nice as an eyeshadow and I bought it. And me and Selena, like I said, are going out tomorrow. And I might rip her in to do a get ready with me, but I don't know. Like, you know when you go out, you always have these fantastic plans to do certain things. And then you end up just like being really, not late, but like rushing to get ready. I always take my, the, bl the brush that I did the, my powder with, and I just sort of blend around. I'm then going to take this kind of, I don't know, that color. <laughs> and... Again with the 217, I just sort of deepen my crease a little bit. I love warm colors in my crease. It's just my jam. I feel like it brings my eye color out as well. Um, so that's what we're gonna go with. I'm going out this weekend and I have nothing good to wear. It's just every single time I want to go out, I have nothing, no, I'm not joking guys, nothing to wear. Um, a lot of the stuff that I bought in my last Zara haul, I took back. I think you guys got the vibe. I just, I'm not normally like that. I was feeling really indecisive. Like, I don't know, I, I sort of tried everything on again and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it anymore. Um, so I don't have anything to wear anymore, which is really annoying. I roped Selena in to go to Westfield tomorrow. Um, if we can be bothered to see if I can find anything to wear because I'm not liking anything. What else I really like to do, which again, some people might think is a bit odd, is I love to take my blush, which was gingerly, and I love to put that on my eyes. So I'm taking a MAC 286, and I'm taking that gingerly color, which was the blush. And gingerly is like a really gorgeous, ready shade, which is essentially what I like to wear on my eyes anyway. And um, when I've been in a rush since I bought it, I've just worn the gingerly on my eyes on its own, and it looks really pretty. But I always find if you wear your blush on your eyes, it ties your look together. You guys are gonna be like, Barbs, you've seen me, like you've, you've done this look like a million times and I'm gonna say, I know, but you guys wanted to see it, I'm sorry. I really need to get my hair cut. Oh, also, I had loads of people asking me who does my hair um, from my last video. I don't know why you guys are loving my hair. I haven't got it done in so long, but to be fair, he does, he does hair so well and he does hair that, like, I've got hair on my lip. He does hair so well that it kind of just lasts and it just kind of just, continues to look good um so i'll leave my uh, hairdresser's information down below but i do really need to go and get it done and cut and i'm going through a phase where i just kind of need like a, a renew like a refresh but i'm not sure what i want to do and i had um sophia and chinsia who i love wish i had a best friend like them like them two are with each other but i never had that which is really sad but um let me do my brows 
they were sort of talking about how they want to do a refresh. This is the NYX Tame and Frame Pomade. I really like NYX or NYX. Using my Anastasia brush. And they have been talking about how they want to do a refresh. And I'm like, I want a refresh too. It might just be because they're doing it. I want to do it. Yeah, you guys need to watch them. They're such lovely girls. I really want to do another video on my favorite YouTubers because I feel like I really don't watch, like, I, I still watch my, like, still old favorite YouTubers, like, but I still, I feel like I've discovered loads of new people that I love, like, um, yeah, so I, if you guys would want to see a video on who my favorite YouTubers are, I will do that video, but they're like my faves. I'm kind of going through that thing where I'm like, oh my god, I want to do something with my hair again, but I wouldn't, and everyone, all of my cousins and stuff are like, go blonde again, go blonde again, and I'm like, listen, that blonde was a mission. It was a mission and a half. It was like upkeep. Um, and I just don't have the like mental capacity for that. And just also it just really messed my hair up. Like it actually, my hair to be fair, wasn't that bad, but I had like this one little bit here that was this short, um, just from me straightening my hair. So, um, I don't know, I do really like the length. I just feel like maybe I want to cut it a little bit. That's maybe what I want to do. Um, also, I didn't really tell you guys, but... And I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm not really, like... I don't know, I'm not really embarrassed, like, to talk to you guys. I feel like... Sweaty up a lip again. I feel like a lot of the things... <clears throat> also, I'm recovering from a cough, cold thing, so I'm sorry. I still have the, the dry cough. It's horrible. But, um, I have put on weight, um... Oh my god guys, honestly, it was making me so depressed, like, I just, it sort of just started piling on, um, just, I was just eating, like, disgustingly bad, like, Nutella with a spoon, you name it, like, I was eating really late as well because, um, I would come home from work, like, late sometimes, like, I would do weird shifts, um, and then I would just, like, either go out or just eat really late, I just have to have this mirror close to me, I'm so sorry. And um, yeah, the weight just sort of started piling on. I don't know if any of you guys noticed it, but it has. And I'm really going through a thing where I'm trying to lose it. So um, I feel like after I do lose it, because I will, I'm very determined. I've never been sort of this determined to get into shape before. And I feel like I'm actually like determined. Um, and I want to get into shape. I don't want to be skinny. I actually want to be like get into a nice shape. Um, because I don't think I'll ever be skinny. I just like have you seen my boobs like it's not gonna happen but i feel like when once i get to a stage where i'm happy i want to like refresh my like whole look like even my hair and stuff um like i said this few chance to get this they get what i'm saying even though i really don't think they need a refresh because they're so hot if i looked like them at their age honest to god it, I don't know how they do it. I think everyone, like, I, I don't know if anyone else feels like this. I think everyone's getting, like, more and more stylish, younger and younger. Like, when I was, like, 18, I swear, I used to dress like SHIT. Although, I think that's when I started my channel as well. But I still think I used to dress like SHIT. Um, definitely. Not that I dress great now, but I think I, think I look a bit more put together nowadays than when I did. That's my brows. My brows really need doing. I also had a bit of like a gap thing in the middle there and it just has been driving me crazy. Like I, I don't know if I over plucked or I, sometimes when I use like a pencil, it like takes my hairs off. I'm just brushing them. I've also been doing this thing where I brush them up because I just think it looks so nice and Nina does it and it just looks so good. Um, loads of people do it, but I just, I really like the look. I think it looks a bit more natural. Even though I like to keep the front looking a bit more neat um kind of like that also everyone i mentioned i'll link them down below and it's the benefit gimme brow gimme brow <laughs> and it's just a really small tinsy wincy brow brow mascara and i love this because it really gets in there and it just helps me helps me brush my brows up next i'm going to do liner you guys have seen this a million times before I do my eyeliner a bit different to uh, people, I think, and I only do like a half weird liner thing that I just think suits my eye shape. I also want to tell you guys, actually, <laughs> speaking of eye shape, my little sister has started a YouTube channel. Now, she's been telling me she doesn't want me to tell anyone um, because she doesn't like, I don't know, I think a lot of people, when it's like their siblings and stuff, they feel like they don't want 
people to think they're fobbing off on their siblings channel but I obviously love my sister and like I want her to do well so please if you guys want to watch her I will link her channel name down below to be honest I think she's just called Alessandra Rossi I think has the better name out of me would you take the name Alessandra or would you name, take the name Barbara I would take the name Alessandra I love her name um, and she does like vlogs she did a vlog about um, I'm just going to do my eyeliner I'm going to try can I talk to my eyeliner I don't think I can well, no, I can't. But basically, she moved to New York to study history last year, and she's come back now. But she did really cute, like, New York vlogs and stuff, and I was totally jealous. So if you guys want to, go and check her out, or go check her out, because she's great, and she's the cutest thing ever. Um, and I think it's actually quite common for YouTubers, for, like, their sisters or brothers to do YouTube videos as well, because you see how much fun it is and, and like, I don't know, it's just, I think it's really quite common. So let's just not talk, let's do my eyeliner. So like I said, what I do normally, I carve out the line that I want, so that's the line that I want, and then I just join and I join it up to kind of this like to where my pupil is essentially in the middle that's where I join it up to and the line obviously gets thicker towards the end and then I just color in and I take it to my line essentially goes like this towards my brow um, because I think that's what elongates my eye the most um, and I find that when I take my Shit. Sorry, one second. Um, I find that when I take my liner too much into there, it closes up my eye and it just makes it look really odd. And I also find it makes my eyelashes look longer. Um, I don't know, I've always done it like this since I can't even remember now how long. And the length of it kind of just goes with how it wants to be. But I do tend to normally do quite a long line. Uh, and then I kind of look at them and I think, you look kind of alike. And I just kind of go with it. I'm not too fussy. I'm like going out like for dinner or I'm going out with a friend or whatever, I kind of keep it to this and just do mascara and then I move on to just lips and stuff. But because for my filming recently, I've been wearing lashes because I love it. I'm gonna do my lashes today as well. And I recently got this and it's the Paradise Ecstatic Mascara by L'Oreal. And I like it. I had to like, um, like grow to like it a little bit because I didn't, I never liked mascaras at first. I don't put lots on because I am gonna just put lashes on but I do like to get into the middles here. I'd say this is a more volumizing mascara as opposed to lengthening. Oh, did you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna have to wait until that dries now. Um, I just got my face. And my favorite lashes are my, these are just easy. I'd love the idea of buying loads of different lashes online, but I just, this is so easy and I just buy this at um, my local drugstore and it's the Ardell Wispies multi-pack. And I think this is like, I don't even know what the price is. I think it's £16 for four and I get to reuse them and I just think they're great. I'm going to use a fresh pair just because I'm filming this today. But they are just beautiful. I used to, when I was younger, oh gosh, I used to wear the Demi Wispies and I don't like them anymore as much as I love these. These are gorgeous. Dramatic, but they're not like, you guys have seen how they look in my videos. They're dramatic, but they're not like crazy. And I just use the back or end of it and I just rest the lash on there once it's needing to dry. And I just take the lash with my tweezers and I use duo glue. I'm sorry, I've got all my stuff at the front here. I use duo glue because it's the best, um, what's it called, eyelash adhesive. I needed this break because I've been very, very uptight recently, I feel like. Um, which is like me, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I can be a bit like... I get stressy about things and it's not good and last time I had a week off I came back and I was so refreshed and like I really didn't let things get to me especially at work because guys I have to let you know a secret I get shouted at work probably twice a day which is fantastic like I said I work in customer you know I'm a customer customer facing role and it can get quite like say the least it can get quite hard 
So um, I feel like I just really needed like a refresh to regroup and just have um, like faith in humanity again, basically. Um, I'm just gonna take off the, whilst they're drying, foundation from my lips. It's gonna be so like, a, like one of those topics. Who is watching Game of Thrones? I was into it, but then I got off it, and then now I'm into it again, and I am into it. Like, oh my good gosh, don't like give me Jon Snow, and I also quite like Dick Dick Dickson Tardy, which yeah, Dickon, no Dickon Tarly, sorry. Um, he is fine. Um, find me a Dickon Tarly any day of the week, guys. So much is Love Island. It's like my whole. It was like best part of summer was watching Love Island. Um, and the funniest thing is I had like, I had especially one pharmacist and um, we used to like talk about it anytime we used to work together. It was great. Like, honestly, love a good gossip about Love Island. It was fab. Um, so I really miss it. It's really sad. Best show of the summer by far. Um, if I had a bod, like that, I would die to be on the show, but we don't. Let me know who was your Love Island fave. My Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which I don't know what I would do without, to be honest, and um, it just doesn't transfer. Is anyone else really fussy with their lashes? Like, I'm really fussy, like, I feel like if anyone else tried to do my mascara, it just would not go down really well. I feel like I have to do my own mascara because I know my eyelashes, like the way I like them to sit and stuff. Um, I'm really, well, there's one thing I'm picky about, two probably actually, is my skin and my lashes. I feel like anything else, let anyone else do. But just please, not those two things. Next, I'm gonna line my lips and I'm using Stone by MAC. It's a very cool toned lip liner and uh, Nick from Pixie Woo always used to use this. And she said it always causes like a, sh it creates like a shadow. And what I like to do is like blend my lips together. I'm gonna have to take some of this off to go to the doctors. I look crazy. The other day when I bought all those blushes, I also got the lipstick in Blankety. And I've really gone back to wearing um, not matte colors as much. And it's, I don't know why I've never had this lipstick. Like it's so up my street. It's a nude, it's quite a cool toned nude, which I love. And I'm just gonna apply this straight from the bullet. But what I do, I blot, I blot everything. Um, Oh my god, this lipstick. I love MAC lipsticks. I just, I do. I, I'm quite old school. And I go over the lip line. And then I take one of my 8 million tissues that I've got here. I put the tissue in half and then I... Blot. And then I take my finger. And I just kind of go around it. And then I also do this. Which is the age old lipstick trick to not get it on your teeth. I just take my eyeliner because I really do need to get cracking. And I hide any white glue marks. So this is the final look you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've just gone and changed my top. I'm off out now and my hair is just not cooperating. You know those sprays, the like texturizing sprays? They just don't work on my hair. I just don't know what it is. It just makes it, I don't know, crispy and like weird and I've tried quite a few of them. Anyway, I digress. My aesthetic is just like a really nice glowy skin and trying to get my skin looking as nice as I can with the problems that I have and just overall just looking a bit like a better version of myself really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if this wasn't too boring for you and whether or not you like Get Ready With Me's and I hope I'll see you guys all very soon. Take care of yourselves.